All right, welcome to the Panther Pad Podcast. I am General Mike Payne, National General under King Rick, and I am the chapter leader here in VA. Now, we got a great show for you. We have the Winter Pack Giveaway. Winter Pack Giveaway, all right? Um, With that, this year was extra special, okay? Um, It was our fifth annual, but um, this year was different. You know, with COVID and a whole lot of stuff going on, um, we were still able to get to you guys, and we've already posted it online. And like I said, we do that so that our donors can see exactly where the funds are going. They can also um, enjoy the experience with us uh, and see what exactly is going on and see how we're interacting with the community. I think that's a great thing for you guys to be able to see. So, yeah, it's um, let's get to it. The Winter Pack Giveaway. We gave out brand new jackets. The kids were smiling, the kids were happy, and we gave out turkeys to each family. And then we had a whole bunch of extra turkeys that we just went and delivered through out the seven cities. Uh, We hit every city and we were just giving out turkeys and handing them out. And uh, yeah, it was a lot, a hell of a lot. But, you know, I always wish we had more. Um, And of course, that's where more donations and things come in and more money that we're raising ourselves. So but all in all, we really helped out a lot of families and I enjoyed just the whole experience walking and talking to the kids. Um, You know, we even sat and had a QA and a with some of the kids in the neighborhood and they sat and just uh, asked us all type of questions. I mean, I'm talking about from why the sticks fall off trees to why the buildings are are this color, why the police are coming through the neighborhood, um, why the ambulance has to keep coming through, why is it so loud? I mean, they're asking all types of stuff. But then there was uh, one one young queen that stood out and she was asking some really good questions and she actually knew who the Black Panthers were and she was just telling us a couple things and, and how she feels better while we're in the community And um, it made us feel good. You know, it really did because, you know, this is one of those jobs that you do that's not always, uh, you don't always get anything out of it besides the fact that you just love seeing your community get better. But, you know, there's there's no type of, uh, it it gets hard and depressing sometimes because, you know, we're always getting those calls that are just uh, tough where somebody's going through something and, 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 you know, they've been disrespected or, you know, whatever the case may be. So, those happy moments we're, we're happy to see and, and uh, we, we cherish. So when the young girl was out there just, you know, spitting off all this stuff about how it's great to be black and, you know, we talk about how her hair texture is the best texture, you know, from all of the textures that's out there. You know, it's just good to see that pride that she had at such a young age. And um, just knowing we continuously go through that community and talk, it, it was a big deal. Um, but yeah, the you know the kids were happy. They they got to see um, they got to see us come through. We all took pictures. We laughed. We joked. We talked to their families. Um, we delivered the food, and uh, we, we we gave them new coats so that they could stay warm during this winter season. So the winter pack giveaway was an absolute success. Um, like I said, we were all over the seven cities. I think we may have a maybe maybe a couple jackets left that we still have to give out. Um, because some people just, you know, didn't show up. So, uh, we'll be giving those out probably this week sometime. Um, so if you see us through the neighborhood and we'll probably just knock on a couple doors, you got a kid that fits it. Guess what? It's yours. And that's probably what we're going to end up doing. So, um, cause I'm not even sure of the size. It's like, it's like two sizes left, I believe. But, um, anyway, yeah. Winter pack giveaway, complete success. And, uh, you know, I want to thank the community for being involved and allowing us to do what we do and supporting us and uh you know thank you you know so original black panthers i love doing the work and uh we love being out there so let's get to the next subject we're gonna go to the next subject and uh that is shopping with a panther that is coming up uh last year it was around december 28th that we did it um this year uh, I'm not sure what the date is going to be. I'm going to release that very shortly, but definitely contact us. Please, please, please contact us. We're looking for children that lost a parent to violence. Um, we do this because 
Unfortunately, there's a lot of kids that fall under this uh, bracket. And we want to show those kids uh, that we care and that we can, um, we're out here to support them as well. And I know it's kind of hard when you lose a parent, you know, it's hard for some of us adults that lose parents, um, especially the violence. And people are always saying, you know, what do we do about the black on black crime or whatever the case may be? What do we do about uh, crime in our communities? Or what do we do about uh, this, that, and the other when there's no parent at home? Um, well, this is just one thing, one thing that we do um, to give back. So when we last year, what was it last year? Last year, I believe it was, um, we did shopping with a Panther and uh, one of the children, her father was killed in a penitentiary. So, you know, she showed up and she was just in tears. She was bawling. I know she was hurt, but, you know, we looked at her and we just said, hey, today we're going to have some fun. You know, today we're going to have some fun and you can go in here, you can get whatever you want. I mean, we took her on the shopping spree, right? And um, she came out with one thing that I'll never forget was this big, gigantic pink pony that couldn't even fit in the cart, all right? It couldn't even fit in the cart. We just, just sit it on top of the cart. We had to push it through all the way to the aisles. But she came out of there grinning ear to ear. And, and that's just what it was all about. That's what, what mattered uh, to me. And, and that's what made me feel good because I knew she was feeling a little bit better about her situation. So, um, yeah, if, if you have a child or you know of a child that has lost a parent to violence, um, definitely hit us up. You can, um, you can hit, you can inbox me, uh, Mike Payne's my, my page, P-A-I-N inbox me, or you can inbox me at Mike Payne, the general, or you can just hit me up at 757-214-2098. Once again, 757- 2142098 and our great editor will have that at the bottom of the page okay so yeah check it out she will have that right there so um yeah uh shopping with a panther that that's something that we've also dedicated it's called the Carl F Williams uh shopping with a panther and and that's actually the person that recruited me that I got in contact with to start this chapter and uh, so he's very special, uh, near and dear to my heart, King Rick's best friend. Um, and, you know, of course, he has passed on. But uh, beautiful guy, great spirit. And um, we keep his memory alive by doing uh, the Shopping with the Panther situation. So definitely, please hit me up and we can get this done. And uh, we can do some more supporting for the community. We got plenty of things coming up. Like I say, we always have annual events, plus all the other stuff we've been doing. And uh, you can always still see us in your community. We're always walking through. So check us out. All right. And uh, we're going to get ready to go to the next subject. We got one more for you. So stay tuned. We're getting to it. Now let's talk about this holiday. I mean, we have Thanksgiving that was yesterday. Um, today is actual Native American heritage, uh, day, you know, so that's something that I think we should, um, look into kind of maybe celebrating or possibly doing our Thanksgiving on that time, you know, or, or, or something like that, or, or doing something to honor the, uh, Native American people, because, you know, me personally, I don't really do Thanksgiving because I know our brothers and sisters were uh, slaughtered at the, <laughs> during that time. So, um, it's not something that I really want to celebrate, but I do understand that people just use it as a time to get together and really spend time with family and all those things. So don't think I'm gonna sit here and beat you up about your holiday or whatever. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, COVID is out now and, you know, we have to be really careful. I hope everybody was safe. I know, you know, we get together and, you know, when they say don't be around people, you know, to us black folks, that usually means just be around people that, you know, <laughs> you know, so. Um, but I hope everybody was safe. I hope everybody enjoyed their holidays. They ate well. Now you got to spend the rest of the uh, time, rest of the month um, at Planet Fitness or One Life or something trying to get yourself back together. <laughs> so um, anyway, 
I hope you guys had a safe one, Black Friday. Also, I'm sure everybody was out this morning um, getting a whole bunch of new stuff, but I hope everybody just did it safely and, uh, you know, responsibly. Um, but, you know, one thing I have been seeing, and I want to talk about this for a quick minute. When, when I see a car and they're, they're at the pump, you know, or, or sometimes I'm walking through communities and I see uh, the man just sitting in the car. I just want to talk about it. You know, the woman shouldn't be getting out pumping her gas. OK, I mean, unless the guy happens to go in the store to get some and she just happens to pump or whatever the case may be. But he shouldn't be doing absolutely nothing, just sitting in the car while she's out there pumping the gas. OK, and there's a lot of crazy stuff. And what made me think about this was because I was talking about safety for a minute. But there's a lot of crazy things I've been hearing about and people getting ran up on and stuff like that. Um, we got to keep our women safe, safe. And that's something I always uh, talk about. So, you know, make sure, you know, you ain't got your lady out there just pumping the gas and somebody running up on her. Or, you know, that's not something she should have to be doing anyway. And, uh, you know, chivalry's not dead. Get the door for the ladies. You know, open the door. Open these car doors. You know, I know we got the little beep beep stuff, you know, but every once in a while, it ain't got to be every time, but, you know, get the door for the lady. It's a good thing to do. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying we got to be safe out here. We got to move correctly. We got to move uh, smartly because um, there's some crazy people out here in the holiday season. It picks up even more. OK, people are out here uh, robbing and stealing and, you know, trying to get money and get these gifts so they can you know uh either just out of greed or so they can appease for this holiday or whatever they're trying to do so like i said just be safe okay um i want everybody to be safe and move around as they should so that's pretty much all i got uh for you and um as i said i hope you guys had a good one and you can also like share follow like, share, and follow. Like, share, and follow. Um, please, the Path of Path podcast. We're out here. You, know, you can always see us in the community. You can catch us right here Friday at 7 p.m. It's always released now on uh, Mike Payne, the general. So it's on that page, and then I'll share it. Um, so definitely go there. Check us out. Like, share, subscribe. The whole night, y'all. And um, it was great spending time with y'all again. And I will see you next Friday. All right. All power to the people.